Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, I am going to present you some tips useful in uh, intersection of solids. Some tips useful in intersection of solids. A real concern but that students raise in intersection of solid is that they are not able to identify which part of the intersection line is visible and therefore dotted firm and which part is not visible and hence dotted. I repeat, students find it difficult to differentiate between the firm lines and dotted lines in the intersection curve. Intersection can be lines or curves. In prisms it will be lines and in cylinders it will be curves. So students find it difficult to identify or distinguish between firm and dotted intersection lines. Okay. The best thing is to visualize the object. Visualize the objects, intersecting objects. The two objects you have to visualize and you have to see which is visible and see which is not visible and then do accordingly. That's the best thing. It requires so much of experience to identify those things. To identify which is visible and which is not visible. The visualization itself will take some time. Maybe after years of teaching it will come. Okay. Now, I am going to, going to give you some thumb rules to find out what is visible and what is not visible. This may not be 100% uh, perfect. There can be small exemptions, but in 99.9 .9 cases what I am going to tell you is exactly correct. Agreed? Okay. I will tell you like this. Listen carefully. Slightly difficult to digest. Slightly difficult to digest and comprehend together. This is the language that you can use. This is the language that you can use. This is the correct This is the vertical prism, right? This is the vertical prism. This is the extreme left vertical edge and this is the extreme right vertical edge. For any object, whether it is a prism or a cylinder or whatever it is, square prism, hexagonal prism, pentagonal prism, whatever it is, there will be one extreme left boundary and ex one extreme right boundary in the elevation. Agreed? Some part of the object will be nearer to you and some part of the object will be away from you in the elevation. When you look from there to draw the elevation. This is nearer to you. This is far away from you. Agreed? This is nearer to VP. This is nearer to you. Agreed? Which will you identify which is nearer to you, which is far away from you? In the plan you can see. In the plan, what is nearer to you will be away from XY and what is nearer to VP will be nearer to XY. So, first of all, consider these two vertical edges. And if this prism is penetrated by another prism, there will be definite points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and so on. And in cylinder also, even though there are no horizontal edges, we take general edges and hence points. Think of those points. When this is penetrated by some other object, there are certain points. If those points come on this side of these two boundary lines, this side of these two boundary lines, those points will be visible. Agreed? If the point lies on this side of these two boundary lines here, it will be visible. And if there are two visible points, the line connecting them will be visible. If there are two visible points, the lines connecting them will be visible. Okay. Now, anything in this region will be visible. Agreed? Anything in this region will not be visible. What or be the reason? At any cost, this will not be visible. Anything, any point that comes here will not be visible. So take it like that. Any point coming here can be visible. It depends on the other person also. Okay. This points here can be visible, but this never will be visible. Agreed? Okay. We are taking only one prism. I am speaking only about one prism. You have to take the other prism also. Then conditions will change. So, out of this single prism, anything in this region between these two vertical edges will be, can be visible. And this never will be visible. At any cost, they will not be visible. Agreed? Okay, fine. There is another prism penetrating it. And it just got a top horizontal edge and a bottom horizontal edge. This penetrating object has got a top edge and a bottom edge. Anything that comes in this region will be visible. Anything in this region will never be visible. Agreed? 
anything that comes in this region may be visible depending on the other prism may be visible and anything in this region will never be visible okay so in these two objects for this object this part may be visible for this object this part may be visible now when one prism is penetrated by another prism when one prism is penetrated by another prism verify the point is the point in this region yes assume assume yes is that point the same point in this region yes then it is visible agree in this point in this region yes it is visible but when you penetrate it this is the point on this side yes if it is on this side it will not be visible the point will be visible only and only if it is in the visible region of the vertical cylinder and the visible region of the horizontal cylinder that is for the vertical vertical object vertical horizontal agreed visible 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 if it is visible in this region visible region if this is visible in the visible region then the finally the point will be visible if this is visible and it comes under invisible area of the horizontal prism it will not be visible if this comes under invisible area and this comes under invisible area this will not be visible if this comes under invisible area this comes under invisible area this will not be visible clear visible 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 invisible 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 visible invisible 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 that's all i hope you understand you have to now find out where the point comes we are taking a single point single point p1 is p1 in this region may be visible is the p1 same point p1 in this region visible then it is visible that's a method of finding out take some time but once you apply it in those 11 videos you will understand this concept i hope you understand this is going to help you immensely okay thank you